Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing equivalent fractions. This is standard 3.3F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 17 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a model here that is shaded uh, to represent a fraction, and we need to find an equivalent fraction. All right. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to use this graph draw feature. And I'm going to make it a little bit more transparent. So I can just draw on a little bit, right? So look at this fraction right here. This first fraction, right, we've got two parts. We've got the numerator, right? That's the number of, in this case, uh, pieces that are shaded. And then we've got the denominator, which is going to be the total number of pieces. And so we've got one piece shaded, and there are four total pieces. All right, so our model is one-fourth. We need to find one-fourth is equal to something. So let's take a look here, and you see how I can still kind of I could still kind of move it underneath it. Unfortunately, it's going to kind of keep my drawings up the same. So let's say, can we make this equal to one fourth? Well, that's not one fourth. This is two eighths. But you know what? If we took that middle line out, look at this. I've got if we just ignore that middle line, it looks like I've got four bars and one bar is shaded. I wonder if I can do this. All right, let me, I have to reset this because I'm drawing all over it. This is two eighths and this is one fourth, right? But watch this. What if I just did this? I just drew a line across, I cut each fourth in half. And I just made two eights, didn't I? The key is, can you keep the same amount shaded and just make the pieces either smaller or larger? So I made each piece smaller. I cut each piece in half. There's Instead of four pieces, there's eight pieces. But I didn't change any of the shaded region. So I'm thinking A looks pretty good. Let's come down here. Let's check our B. Let's reset that. Go back to red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is one eighth. So here's the deal. One eighth cannot equal my model of one fourth. Because look at the numerators are the same. I've got one piece out of eight, one piece out of four. Can't be the same. Because they're both unit fractions. And you can't have two unit fractions that are equal if their denominators are different. So B is no good. All right, we're going to get rid of that one. Let's look at C. Whoa. Uh, here's the problem with C. It's not even a fraction. A fraction has to have all pieces that are equal. Look how little these two are and how big this one is. This one is twice as big as the other two. So it's not even a fraction. You have to have equal sized pieces. So we're not at B. We're not at C. We like A. Let's check out D. Okay, D does look like a fraction because it has you know equal sized pieces but once again look at my numerator and my denominator it is a unit fraction there is one piece out of six and it cannot equal my one fourth because you cannot have two unit fractions that are the same your numerators are both one but your denominators are different so just like one six cannot equal one fourth one eighth cannot equal one fourth this is not even a fraction, so we are going to go back up to A. So we need to scroll back up here. All that work, and visually, even though they move the shaded piece from the left to the right, those two do look very similar. My answer is A.